and you probably noticed I teased another computer, the Amiga 500 Plus that sat on the desk behind me. The reason that sat on my desk for so long is because I don't have a working power supply for it. You have no power over me. The aim is to make a power supply. The Amiga just needs 12 volts, 5 volts, and a minus 12 volts line, all of which are provided by this ATX power supply. All we need to do is create an adapter. Well, let's see if we can get this Amiga booted up. Right, so what we've got in this box is an ATX power supply, ATX extension lead, square DIN, which is the power connector for the Amiga, a switch. So in terms of tools, I'm going to need some clippers, a multimeter, some solder, soldering iron, we're going to need some wire strippers. And that is essentially all we need to make a power supply. So I'm going to start by simply cutting this in half. We also don't need all the pins. First thing I can do is literally trim off all the 3 volt and minus 5 volt stuff. We're now going to get a CAT scan. For better results, make sure you CAT scan all your equipment. Thank you. And I'm left with the 5 volts, ground, minus 12 volts, and 12 volts, which are all we need. Found a nice piece of black cable. So it's actually got eight wires in it, so I double them up, which gives me the kind of equivalent inner circumference. So I'm going to go for brown bean ground, five volts. It's going to be orange. Glasses. Need to go in my head so I can see. to Amiga with a remote switch. 
So we've got it all hooked up. We turn it on. We have a light. And we have a soft drive earlier. Don't you just love Amigas? Try that again. It's more promising. There we go. Thanks for watching. 